Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $115,185.68. In the past year, I am up $43,405.41. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $22,935.96. Today was a green day for me. I was up $369.66 during the day. After hours, I am up $250.41. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return $555. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, $38. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, $80. I'm selling Delta Airlines $55 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, $340. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return $99.12. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return. I am down $9,600. I'm selling Target $150 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return $25. I'm selling Disney $105 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $30. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return $753. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return. I am down $950. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $4,186. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $187.59. My average cost, $185.26. My total return, $699.40. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $9.87. My average cost, $5.71. My total return, $26,628.48. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $96.86. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $11,000. $744. I have 100 shares of Target. Target is at $156.17. My average cost, $154.50. My total return, $166.51. I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is at $55.45. My average cost, $50.73. My total return, $1,888.04. This is a margin account. My margin total is $102,244.58. My margin use is $79,476.35. My options collateral is $12,000. This leaves me with $10,000. $768.23 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. 
my buffer is $42,252.17 is how much more money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is $12.83 and I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So green day today, I'm at 115,000 right now and things are going okay. Other than the fact that I'm down around $10,000 on this position, my SoFi $8 covered calls, as you can see, I'm down $9,600 on this position. So big misplay from me. Uh, I should have chosen a higher strike price and I will tomorrow. Right now, SoFi is at $9.87. And I've made a promise to myself tomorrow, no matter what, I'm going to roll my covered calls out to a further expiration date and a higher strike price for SoFi. Everything else, I'm thinking I, I maybe roll out uh, my Amazon covered calls as well. I'm thinking about it. Other than that, I'm going to let my Amazon Iron Condor expire and it's within the range right now. I want Amazon to stay between 140 and 200 and it is it's at 187. So as long as it stays below 200 and above 140 tomorrow at expiration, that's all I really care about. That's that's how I get max profit from my uh, Amazon Iron Condor if it stays between that range. So hopefully it stays that way tomorrow. Delta Airlines, another one that expires tomorrow. I chose the strike price of $55. Right now it's right at $55, $55.45. So if it stays at $55 and some change, you know, if it stays above 55 at expiration tomorrow, my shares will get called away and I'll end up still making, you know, some kind of a profit. So I'm comfortable with that happening. You know, uh, I'm, I'm totally okay with my shares getting called away for uh, Delta Airlines. So. Uh, if it does happen, I might look into getting more uh, covered calls for Delta Airlines again. But, uh, well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Disney. So right now, Disney, I chose a strike price of 95. Uh, right now, Disney is slightly above at 96. $96.90. So if it stays above 95, then my shares of Disney will get called away. And then I'll make some small profit overall from my Disney position, but uh, for these ones, it's okay. I'm, I'm going to let these get called away. I'm not going to roll them out. And that's because I have these other Disney covered calls as well. So let's talk about SoFi first. I, I already talked about this, right? Down about $10,000 from this. And tomorrow I am going to roll it out to a, a further expiration date and higher strike price. Target, I'm okay if this gets called away. I mean, I chose the strike price of 150. Right now, Target is at 156, which means if it stays above 150, it's just gonna get called away. But I'm okay with that. I'm not like married to Target or whatever. Um, I can let it go. So Disney, I chose the strike price of 105. This is the one that uh, I'm using my um, calls, my $70 calls expiring in 2025 as collateral for these uh, calls that I'm selling. So I'm selling the Disney 105 call. And right now, Disney's below 105. It's at $96.90. This expires later, though. This expires in December. So it doesn't expire tomorrow like the other positions I have. So I have time on these still. And I think that's all I want to talk about because those are mostly the ones that are expiring tomorrow that I'm paying attention to. Most of them, I don't need to really do much of anything. If anything, I'll roll out my Amazon $185 covered calls. And for sure, I'm going to roll out my SoFi covered calls. But other than that, I'm just going to leave everything else alone, let them expire. Um, and then we'll go on from there starting next week. So a bunch of them expire tomorrow. I'm. I already told you guys my plan and then next week that's when a lot of my buying power will be freed up so I won't just have ten thousand dollars in buying power after all these expire I'm gonna have a lot more uh, buying power to put in use so I'll decide next week what I want to do with it but 
for now, um, that's my plan. All right, that's it for this portfolio update. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.